The crucified are you washed in the blue of the land? Oh, are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the land? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning I give God thanks and praise for sparing my life, for His love, for His mercy. Hallelujah and His goodness towards us. My name is Brother Joseph of the New Birth Church of God, or Minister Joseph, giving honor to the Holy Spirit. He's the head of my life. He's in charge and he's control. He's in control. In Psalm 92, verses 1 and 2, it says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindnesses in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Hallelujah. I have a lot to give God thanks and praise for because he has been faithful, he has been kind, hallelujah, and good to me. First of all, I want to thank God, hallelujah, for when I was living a life of sin, sinking deep down into that merry clay, Jesus, he looked beyond all my faults. He looked beyond, hallelujah, all what I was doing and what I was involved in. And he saw that I was in desperate need of a savior. And having seen my condition, he stretched forth his mighty hands. Hallelujah, down, and he took me out. Hallelujah, and I want to let you know, he washed me, he cleansed me in his precious blood, he clothed me in his garments of righteousness, and then he called me his son. And for this I must give God thanks, I must give him praise and honor and glory because this is the greatest thing that has ever happened in my life. Praise the Lord. Number two, I want to thank God again for the New Birth Church of God and for Bishop Alan Marishow, who has been my spiritual father for the past 10 years. I want to thank God for him. He has been a great in spiritual influence and a blessing to my life. I remember the first day that I entered into the ministry, into the church. He looked at me and he said, Son, God knows about your recent experience and you have a choice to make. And I was really going through a challenge in my life, a period in my life at that point in time. And then I knew it had to be the Spirit of God working through this pastor, through this minister, hallelujah, that he could really, you know, tell me exactly what was going on in my life. I want to thank God for him because he laid his hands on me at that service. He prayed for me. I was slain, hallelujah, and when I got up from the floor, hallelujah, I was not the same, hallelujah. That situation, hallelujah, that I was experiencing that um that, you know, that experience that I was going through there, it was lifted, praise the Lord, and God set me free. So I want to give God thanks and praise again for Bishop, hallelujah, and for God using him that day in my life. Another thing that happened to me, hallelujah, is because I was suffering from an intense back pain for quite a number of years. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I told the Bishop about it, and he laid his hands, he prayed, he ministered to me, hallelujah, and I felt like a fire, a heat was running through my back up and down, and I want to let you know again, hallelujah, through the ministration of the bishop, hallelujah, and the power of the Holy Spirit working through him, I was delivered, hallelujah, completely healed and delivered from that pain.
Hallelujah. I want to thank God again. Hallelujah for using the bishop. Hallelujah. Not only in my life, but in my family's life, because my wife was experiencing a medical condition, praise the Lord, that may have required surgery. Hallelujah. But I want to let you know that God is good. God is merciful. Hallelujah. That is why today I'm thanking him. Hallelujah for his kindness and for his faithfulness, because the bishop came with a few of the saints, praise the Lord, and they prayed and ministered to my wife and I want to let you know that that medical condition was lifted it was healed she was totally delivered and set free in the name of Jesus Lord I give God the glory I give him the honor and I give him the praise thanking him for the bishop thanking him for using him in such a mighty and miraculous way Father, in the name of Jesus, you know, I want to thank you again and again and again. You have been so good. You have been so, you know, loving and merciful to us, even for so many people that came through the ministry by the hundreds. Hallelujah. I saw so, so many people delivered from so many different complaints, breast cancer, demon possession, Hallelujah. Even the blind people came who couldn't see, the left seeing people who couldn't came who couldn't walk. Hallelujah. Who came on wheelchairs. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And they left. Hallelujah. Not the same way they came. They left delivered and set free. So I want to thank God again for Bishop Alan Marishu for using him in such a mighty way. I want to thank God for the new birth church of God. Hallelujah. And may the Lord continue to bless the bishop and his family and his family and all who have been around him hallelujah for the years lord i want to encourage you today i want to encourage you if there is a storm in your life jesus is the shelter in the time of storm you are hungry he says i am the bread of life and even though you are thirsty I want to let you know that Jesus Christ is the living water. You are hearing this testimony today. I want to let you know that God is faithful. God is faithful. He has promised, hallelujah, I will never go back on his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. And he will be the same forevermore. What he has done for me, hallelujah, there is no reason why if you come to him, he cannot do it for you. He's at the door. He's at your door. He's knocking. Hallelujah. I want to ask you today to let Jesus come into your life. May God richly bless you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.